What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. It's been a long time since I brought you a product review, first look, uh, take a look at a product that I'm using, but I'm really excited to show you this one. It's a product I absolutely love, yet I shed a tear every time I use it. So that product I wanna share with you today is the ISDT FD100. This thing here is actually a battery discharger. And you might be thinking, you know, what the heck do I need a battery discharger for? All I gotta do is charge up my batteries, get out there, fly them, and you know, have a great time. Well, this thing's actually come in really, really handy for me so far. It's a very inexpensive device. It only costs $35. Um, but it can discharge a battery significantly faster than you can do with a standard charger. So I use a CQX3 charger, and if I try to discharge my 6S batteries, it discharges at about 0.3 amps, and that takes absolutely forever. So what ends up happening is I have a lot of batteries. I charge them up, I take them out to the field. Sometimes if I'm going out to a race, I don't know how many batteries I'm going to need, and lots of times, unfortunately, I bring home a bunch of batteries still charged up. So what I make sure to do is I make sure to go through my batteries, see which ones are still charged, and discharge them as soon as possible. If you guys aren't aware, the longer you leave your batteries fully charged, the more damage you're doing to them over time. So if you can keep them at storage charge for the vast majority of their life, they're going to last longer, you're going to get better performance out of them, um, and it's just really good for the health of your battery, making sure you're getting the best bang for your buck out of the batteries that you buy. So why, does it, why do I shed a tear every time I use this thing? Well, the key thing is... I would much rather be out there flying a battery than charging it up and wasting that electricity by putting it through this. So the way this thing works is it has a port here where you connect your battery. The battery then powers the logic inside of this thing. You then, when you start discharging it, it has some heat sinks in here. It takes your battery energy, turns it into heat, goes through the heat sink and then uses a fan to then push that heat out of there. And then for that reason, it can discharge at a much higher rate than some of your other standard chargers. There are more powerful discharges on the market than this particular one, but you're not gonna find one for $35 that works quite as well as this one. So there are also some really cool features that you get by using the ISDT FD100. I personally don't have the cable for this, but if you look here on the side, there's this little jack right here. This actually can plug a cable in here that you then have the choice of either connecting it to a computer where you can configure how this thing should be discharged or you can actually plug it into one of the other ISDT chargers like the Q6 that I also have. When you plug it into the Q6, what ends up happening is you can go into the discharge setting inside of the Q6. You can set what you should discharge it to and actually use this for the discharging. So that's a fantastic way that you get higher performance out of your Q6 discharging by using this device, but still have full control over how your battery gets discharged. By default, if you don't have the cable, like I don't, and you don't change any of the settings on it, the way this thing will work is it'll actually take any battery and discharge it down to 3.8 volts per cell, which is basically your perfect storage level charge by default. It's a great option to have other options where you can configure exactly what you want to discharge to, but for me, going to 3.8 works pretty much every single time. All right, so I want to just take you through how this device works. It's really, really simple. On here, you have an XT60 connector that mates up with your XT60 batteries. Here I have a 6S1250 pack. When I plug it in, nothing happens. But when you go through the menus, you'll have a cells button and a current menu. So when you hit the cells button, you see that the lights turn on, this device is activated, and it lets you select how many cells are inside this battery. So because you're not connecting the balance lead, this device cannot actually detect how many cells you have. So you must inform it how many cells you've connected through your main battery connector. Now, if you connect a battery which has too low a voltage for the cells you've selected, you'll actually hear the charger start beeping. So one case may be, that if you connect a battery and it's at that cells but too low, it's lower than 3.8 volts per cell, it'll beep letting you know it's already been discharged past the point that this charger will be able to discharge it too. Now with your battery connected, once you've chosen the number of cells that you want to discharge, you can also choose the current that you want to discharge it at. So by pressing the current button, you can choose if you want to do a half amp, one amp, two amp, three amp, four amp, five amp, or six amps to discharge this battery. Once you have that selected, give it a little bit of time and this thing will actually start discharging on its own. It is rather loud, which you may be able to hear on my microphone, especially when you have this thing sitting on your bench. Now, it does come with these two pads uh, that I have stuck here on the bottom, but these pads are really tough and honestly, it doesn't dampen the sound much at all in my experience. And so just putting it on its flat side works pretty much just as well. So guys, that's, that's pretty much all there is to this thing. Very simple interface, two buttons to use it, has a port that you can figure additional parameters if you need it. 
Um, but this thing works great for what I need. I like to keep my batteries charged um, for as little time as possible. It helps extend their life cycle. I know a lot of pilots choose to cycle their batteries before their first use. So a lot of guys will actually use this to discharge the battery once they charge it up. So they'll charge a battery, discharge it, charge a battery, discharge it, charge a battery, discharge it. They'll do that three to five times. And basically what they're trying to do is just get early cycles on the battery, which they believe is going to extend the life cycle of that battery. I personally do not spend the time to cycle my batteries up front, um, but that doesn't mean it's not without its merit. It doesn't mean it's not without its ba uh, benefits. I personally haven't done my testing for myself. I don't know how that shows, but I know that's a very common practice. So if you do that, this is a really easy way to do it. It takes about 12, 13 minutes to discharge a fully charged 1300 milliamp 6S pack. If you're working with 4S packs, which this thing also does great, you're looking at maybe 10 minutes or less to discharge this down to storage from a fully charged 1550 lipo so really if you think about it it's just it's way faster to get it discharged it's only 35 dollars. i'm going to leave a link down below if you guys want to click that to check this product out i've been having a great time with this i used it at flight fest i used it at buffalo bando um i was using it when i was out at international open it just it comes in handy time and time again for me i probably discharged over 100 batteries through this thing now it's been rock solid super easy to use i really really like it and uh yeah i highly recommend it so anyway guys i wanted to share this product with you guys let you know about it hopefully you found this review helpful you learned something about this ft100 discharger and as always i'll catch y'all next time peace